<clears throat> Hello guys, today I will show you how to update your OnePlus 10 Pro or any other OnePlus uh, if you installed Magisk or Root Access, so it has some special procedures to unlock it, saving the root and not cause a boot loop of your device. So let's see what you need for this. So first of all we need system update which is called for Oxygen OS special one. Basically, I will attach the link below. It's called OnePlus Local Update. I have already installed it and I will not show you how to install it. It's very simple. I will keep the link below. You download it, install, and basically that's it. Uh, one more thing that you need you need to install the latest version for your phone. So basically, it's showing okay, no network right now. Uh, currently C30 for my device, uh, let me open about the device, uh, I have the model NE2213 which is Europe uh, firmware pre-installed and currently it showed me the update but I disconnected from the internet so it's uh, version C30, uh, currently I have C25 I guess, let me check. Uh, yeah, C26, as you see here, C26 and the latest version C30, I've already downloaded it and uh, you need to put it on the root of your device. Uh, once, you did it, once you've done it, uh, what you should do first is to open Magisk app, so I've got Hide Magisk, uh, and firstly you need to disable all the install tags or modules so once you've done it uh, better to restart your device and uh, and just wait while it's restarting uh, be careful when you select your uh, firmware please select uh, based on your region you have Indian Chinese one uh, yeah, I've got open boot loop, of course, and I unlock, uh, I've got uh, open yeah, loader, and it showed me it's unlocked and can be trusted, blah, 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 so it's showing all the time. Uh, I've got a root, I've got pre-installed uh, many like apps, etc., so I want to be careful. All right, let me enter my password. Okay, it's done. So let's wait a bit for a loading. Uh, Alright, so basically let's move back to Magisk app. So let's double check modules, all disabled. Uh, that's the first point that we should done. The second point is uh, we need to open Magisk app actually. Uh, it's already open for us. And click on remove Magisk uh, or uninstall Magisk actually. And here you have two options, complete and install, restore images. Uh, what we should do is to click restore images. It's restoring. All right, restoration is done. Uh, then you open uh, our uh, system update app. You click here. You select the pre-downloaded uh, software, firmware. Click on it. Click install now and wait until it will be done. So as you see right now it's zero. So let's wait until it's fully installed and I uh, will be back to you. So I make this process fast and let you know how long uh, does it take to install it. Okay, so we'll be back in a few seconds. Alright, as you see it's almost done, 99%, so let's wait and let's move back to the next step. Uh, it's actually left not that much, it took around uh, maybe 15 minutes to fully update uh, our phone, so it's still last minute is coming. Let's wait and then finish it. Be careful, you should follow this instruction step by step. Actually, I'm not responsible for any risks uh, that this software is uh, applying. So it's uh, up on your, uh, let's say, risks. So if you would like to do it this way, just be careful and be like notice that your phone can become, can become just boot looped. 
So okay, here we have reboot button. Uh, do not click on this button actually, uh, because because it will have some consequences. So just uh, move back, move back, and come back to the Magisk app. Uh, so here, after update, uh, you should go to Magisk install, and then uh, you should select uh, the third option. Uh, install to inactive slot after OTA click OK let's go and right after it's done so click reboot from here and let's wait a bit until it will be loaded Maybe first load will take some time because yeah it's after update it needed to set up some things let's say update some apps etc but usually take more or less same time so let's wait it's boating so this thing will show you all the time just don't pay that much attention and don't worry it's just all the time same Right, let's wait, it's loading actually already around 10 seconds passed or even 15 seconds passed and it's still on the same stage, just don't worry and wait, it will load uh, to the next one, let's wait a bit. Okay, loading, you see the preview, it's already 30 seconds uh, since uh, launch, actually you shouldn't worry just keep patient and wait uh, 40 seconds almost loaded it seems that last steps are coming 50 seconds just wait keep calm and done so let me just enter my password Okay, loading. Mm, all right, let me decrease a bit brightness, finish and set up the system, settings, and let's check whether we've got updated. Okay, no network connection, but here we have new version installed. Okay, let's just click about device. And let's check the version. All right, yeah, we succeed. Currently, we have an E22 13 11C30, so updated version supports Android 13. Uh, and we are done actually, everything's installed. Uh, what you should do is go back to Magic Manager, uh, come to modules, activate all your uh, installed modules. I know why it show latest app not installed, but seems that everything's working. Restart. That's it. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I put the thumbs up and see you next time. And uh, <coughs> all right. So on the next video, I will show you actually the review of this uh, C30 uh, firmware. And for today, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching. Put a thumbs up and see you next time.